girlfriends! If you've been in a relationship, you've definitely been with at least one of these types of girls. So let's start with number five, the clingy girlfriend. Now this girlfriend isn't bad to have if you don't have any friends. This type of girlfriend will be by your side every step of the way. And I mean literally every step of the way. And the odd time you're not with her, she'll be hitting up your phone non-stop. Hey, uh, can I get a chocolate bar? Can I get a chocolate bar and a... Can I get a chocolate bar and a Coke, please? Oh my god. Must be the girlfriend, ain't it? <laughs> it just makes you want to chuck your phone in the ocean. But let's not do that, because it's kind of rude to the fishes. Yo, what the- She's the type of girlfriend who will watch you in your sleep, like you'll come home from having a long ass day at work, hop on the couch, and start snoozing, when all of a sudden a shadow starts creeping over you. Is it a monster? No. Is it Drake? No. It's just your 5'4 clingy girlfriend hovering over you, staring into your soul. Holy b, -b babe why are you looking at me like that? Do you even love me anymore? Even when you're fucking up the toilet, having the absolute most catastrophic washroom explosions, there's no need to worry, as your clingy girlfriend will be right by your side, giving you the moral support you desperately needed. Oh, when you thought you could get away once you die? Yeah, no chance. Just when you thought you were long free, she'll be right around the corner waiting for you. Hey, babe. Number four, the toxic girlfriend. These girlfriends are straight dangerous bro they would do anything in their power to be right to make you feel crazy and to start fights like they'll tell you to go order some chicken mcnuggets because what girl doesn't like some good old chicken nuggets and the next thing you know give me them yo what are these what they're not even cooked right what you mean they look good oh so now you want to start an argument what all i said was they look good oh and now you're giving me attitude bro what what did I even do? And if you don't apologize within the time limit they set mentally, your ass will be beaten to death. Well, not literally, but your windows might be smashed and your car will probably have cheater written all over it. Even if you try breaking up with this girl, there is no yeah, escape. Whatever. She'll be right back in your house the next day Bro, acting like nothing even here? happened. Number three, the insecure girlfriend. Damn, look at Selena Gomez, she fine as hell. Oh yeah, you have a crush on her? You definitely think she's prettier than me. What, no, 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 you're absolutely gorgeous. No, you think I'm fat. What, no, do you think I'm the prettiest girl in the world? Yeah, of course I think you're the prettiest girl in the world. Not prettier than Selena Gomez though. Oh my God. At this point, you've dug yourself a deeper hole cause anytime you compliment her, you'll never hear the end of how you think Selena Gomez is prettier than your girlfriend. I swear, these type of girlfriends gotta be some FBI detectives cause they will go through all your social media and figure out every single girl you've come in contact with. So who's Felicia? Uh, she's just some girl I went to school with. I barely talked to her. That's not what your DM showed when you were in kindergarten. Bro, what? I didn't even have a phone in kindergarten. They were on your DS. What the f what the fuck? How'd you even find that? Number two, the aggressive girlfriend. This type of girlfriend loves you just in an aggressive type of way. Let's say you're walking down the street and you bat an eye on another girl for just a second. Yeah, you're getting your ass beat. If you dodge a kiss, getting your ass beat. If you even say hello to the waitress when she's taking your order, guess what? Getting your ass beat. I swear, you'll just be chilling and all of a sudden she'll be like, you know, I can definitely beat your ass in a fight. Like, damn, you probably could with your Hulk ass. It always seems to be the short girls who wanna beat you up. And for some reason, they got some mad strength to them. Not only do they love by punching and pushing, but they also love by biting. It always comes out of nowhere too. You just be talking to her for one second, and then the next she'll be hitting you with the Mike Tyson. Number one, the lovey-dovey girlfriend. Now there's two types of lovey-dovey girlfriends. There's the one that's perfect that gives you handmade gifts and is really affectionate and they know the time and place. And then there's the PDA lovey-dovey. These girlfriends love showing affection in public. You can usually find them in their natural habitat of the gym and the amusement park lines. I almost want to group them together because the boyfriend is in on it too most of the time. It usually looks a little like this. You'll be on the bench hitting your usual chest day. One, two, Three, what the fuck is that? And in the corner of your eye, there it is. The lovey-dovey girlfriend straight up massaging her boyfriend as he does his shoulder presses. Next thing you know, she's all up in his space, kissing his cheeks. It makes you just wanna throw him on a baseball field and home run the asses out the gym with your 200 pound weight. 
they always seem to do it at the worst time too. Like you'll be stuck in line for two hours just waiting for a ride at the amusement park, thirsty as hell, and to make it just that much worse, the couple in front of you start rubbing against each other, but to create a whole fire with all that friction. And of course, these aren't the only women who you will come across. There are many lovely women who will treat you perfectly right. I hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe.